All right, we are about ready to solder. The first thing we need to do is to be safe. We always need to put our goggles on. I also need my reading glasses, so I'll put those on. And I will get some goggles to fit safely over those reading glasses. If you have long hair, please take a hair tie that's in the classroom to tie your hair back so it doesn't get into the soldering iron. And roll up your sleeves so you don't have any loose hanging materials in the soldering iron. As a reminder, there should be absolutely no food or drink at this table that would be unsafe. Inside your kit, you're going to have the following items. You're going to have one marker, one wire stripper. You're also going to have a solder holder, some solder, your safety glasses, paper plates, and also two clips. Two additional items you'll see at your station are your solder and also your sponge to clean off your tip of your soldering iron. As a reminder, there's only going to be two students per station when we are soldering here in STEM. All right, once you're ready to go, you have your kit here and you're going to, before you even open it, you're going to take the marker from your bin and you're going to write your name and the period. So I will do that here. This is ranking. Period four. This way we can store what we haven't finished in this bag. I'll open it up and I'll show you what all the materials are in there. First, there are the instructions. On the piece of paper, you see there's a part list and a schematic drawing of our circuit. On the back, you can see the printed circuit board PCB layout of your circuit and also the assembly instructions, all very useful information. Um, what we have in here is a battery holder and all the little parts, our printed circuit boards and the components that we are going to solder on there. For now, I'm going to put them on a piece of paper so we don't lose them. It's important that we keep them all together. So do not throw away this bag. This is a good place to put in your little parts that you haven't soldered back on. So here's my PCB and my resistors, my LED, my photoresistor and transistor. So it tells me identify and solder R1 and R2 to the printed circuit board where designed or designated. So I can see here my R1 needs to go there, so I need to go on the back to my R1 and that's where I'm going to make my solder solder. So first I need to identify which resistor is R1. I need to turn this over and I see that R1 is 82 ohms and that is gray, red, black. So I'm looking for the resistor that is gray, red, black. And I think I have found it here, gray, red, black. That one is my R1. I'm gonna stick one leg in my board there and bend it a little bit. Then I'm gonna stick the other leg in the board. And I'm going to push it all the way through. At this point, it's important that you push it all the way through so it's flush with your board. And then on the back, you're going to bend the legs a little bit so it doesn't fall out when you hold it like this. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. That's where we're going to make our solder. At this point, we're going to take our plate. The plate is just there to help us stabilize our printed circuit board. It, it makes it a little bit easier to make our solder. So I'm just going to clip it on here at a point that doesn't interfere with my um, soldering and gives it a little bit stability because otherwise it would move around. I'm going to take my solder iron which should be heated up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tin the tip. So I'm going to use some of my solder and I'm going to tin the tip. Sometimes you need to find that sweet spot a little bit. It needs to melt a little bit. See a little bit of smoke coming off. You don't need to worry about that but you see that I'm melting that a little bit. All right, that is what tinning the tip is. Okay, if you're uncomfortable he, uh, holding the solder yourself, you can use the solder holder and you can stick it in here and hold it like this, all right? It's whatever you prefer. Um, some of you like to do it um, that way, others like to hold the solder directly. First thing you're going to do is you're going to clean the tip 
in your copper sponge. Then you're going to retin it. It should be melting. And then you're going to go make your solder. So you're going to come in from one side. You're going to put the solder on the other side of the wire. And there it is. That's my solder. Zoom in. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to the other side. And there it is. So what's important that when you make your solder, that the solder stays just on that little metal plate and doesn't go over into the other areas of your printed circuit board. So now we have soldered on our first component. We're going to go to our next component. Once you're done with your solder, you put your soldering iron back in the stand. You do not clean it at this point. You leave it the way it was. Now we're going to go to our next component. Uh, on, it, on our list it says the, we should be doing R2, which is the second resistor. And we're going to put that in our board here. Make sure again it's flush. On the bend. LED, which is the light bulb. Um, the LED, be careful about the orientation, the long lead goes on the positive side. So it has a longer leg, that's the positive one. And you need to find the positive one on the board here. So press it in there and bend it in a little bit. Now these two solders are a little bit closer to each other so you've got to be careful that you do not connect the two legs but you keep it separate. And that is our third component. Next we have the photo cell, which is the one with the squiggly lines on it. That's the photo cell doesn't matter how we put it in, there is no polarity, it has no polarity, so you can put it in either way. At this point, if any of these legs are in the way, you can bend them a little bit. Be careful, it might, it might be a little bit hot, but again, make sure it's flush on this side. solder in there. So this is the photo cell. Now we're going to the last component which is the hardest one which is the transistor. All right. The transistor has a flat side and a circular side so you match up the shape. All right. So um, you have these three legs and this one is hard to poke through. So you don't have to do that. So 
once you have, make sure that the flat side goes that you try to press it through as best as you can. All right, turn it over. If there's any other of the legs on the way, out of the way, can you push them out of the way? Trying to find a good spot here to grab it up. Make sure it's nice and stable. Have your saw ready. Um, you see these legs are very close to each other, so you need to be very careful to not put them all together. They need to have separate separations between them. And that's it. So those are all the solders that we have to make. We have our components on there. Next, we need to do the battery. Um, so for the battery, we need to strip these wires a little bit. So we're gonna take the wire stripper. Um, so loosen this up. I think this setting is probably right. So when you strip the wire, it means that you just make this, take a little bit of the plastic off. You just put it in between here. Then strip it off. See now we have a longer piece of metal that's easier to stick through our PCB. And a longer piece of metal. So for the battery pack, you need to make sure that you put the right um, lead. The red lead it says positive. The black lead is negative, right? So make sure you are poking it through in the right way. So the red one goes into the positive. And maybe it's easiest to do one at a time. And the black one needs to go into the negative. your tip, thin it a little bit, hold it close, there it is, bend this a little bit because I can't get underneath there, and that's it, that's done. Alright, now we are going to cut off the lead carefully. Um, can be a little bit tricky. Make sure that you do the ones on the outside first. You don't want to break anything at this point, so you can just cut it off and then make it shorter later. Not the easiest thing in the world. What's important is that none of these touch each other, all right? Alright, well that's good enough for now. A little bit shorter would be good, but uh, we'll leave it at this. Um, so it is time to try out our nightlight to see what it works. Once you've completed your nightlight, please ask your teacher for the batteries to go ahead and use them for testing. Reminder students, you do not get to keep the batteries, they are only used for testing purposes only. And the final test product is take your finger, cover over the photo sensor, and if it works correctly, you should see the red light turn on, and then when you release, you see it turn off. Once you have tested your uh, night light and you have had the delight of it working well, you're going to clean up your area. So you're going to put all the materials back into the bin where you found them, the clip, the um, plate, put it back in the bin. If you, yeah, what the best way to store is put your device into your plastic bag so you can take it home 
Any clippings that you have, you're going to throw in the trash. The piece of paper you can take home for future reference. The solder pieces, uh, marker, everything goes back in the bin. Clean your area nicely.